Alongside being an effective way to unload stress, video games can also be a source of stress too, with some levels guaranteed to make you more stressed out than you were when you first booted up your platform of choice. If it's a relaxing night of gaming that you're looking for, then the following titles are probably best avoided. Do beware of spoilers ahead if you don't want to know the details. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are the 10 most stressful video game levels. Number 10. Subnautica Blood Kelp Zone When diving into the beautiful world of Subnautica for the first time, players are presented with an aquatic alien world bursting with colour and brimming with strange creatures. The opening hours of this survival game are like taking a snorkeling holiday to a tropical vacation. But when players have scavenged enough materials to dive further into this world to uncover more of the mysteries it hides, they'll quickly learn that there's a lot of monstrous terrors lurking in the murky depths to be frightened of. Bone sharks, crab snakes, and the fear some reapers are just some of the wildlife to keep you on your toes at the initial stages. But these are small fish in comparison to what awaits in the blood kelp zone. Upon approaching this area for the first time, the player's PDA will announce that this area contains many of the quote, preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. And it's not wrong! Ghostly Luminous Kelp is the only natural light players will have to navigate the claustrophobic caves and trenches with. Meanwhile, an ominous soundtrack with a pulsating rhythm suggests that there's even more terror waiting ahead. The threatening atmosphere isn't without merit either. The dreaded ghost leviathan roams this area, making any excursion to this zone a stressful ordeal. Number 9. Dead Space 2 – Eye Surgery the sequel to one of the most atmospheric and gripping horror games in recent memory, Dead Space 2, opens with a heart-pounding sequence in which the player must helplessly flee from a swarm of vicious necromorphs hot on their tail. And that isn't even close to this game's most stressful sequence. Much later in the game, the world's unluckiest engineer, Isaac Clarke, finds himself needing to acquire important data on the horrors he's been facing throughout his ordeal. Unfortunately for him and the players, the only way this data can be received received is by injecting it directly into his brain through his eye, using a contraption designed for eye surgery. What follows is a harrowing sequence where players need to help guide a needle into their protagonist's eye, and it is as deeply unpleasant as that sounds. The concept of sticking a large needle into the gooey centre of an eyeball is stomach churning enough, but Dead Space 2 manages to intensify the stress of the situation more by panning the camera closer as the needle lowers, and the accompanying soundtrack quickens, quickening our own heartbeats along with it. A steady hand is required, otherwise Isaac meets a very grisly face-mashing end. Number 8. Dark Souls 2 – Frigid Outskirts the Soulsborne games are renowned for their tough-as-nails difficulty and punishing boss fights, but nothing can compare to the levels of stress that are caused when entering the frigid outskirts in Dark Souls 2. Part of the Ivory King DLC, the frigid outskirts is an optional area that can be reached by interacting with a coffin next to the expulsion chamber bonfire, which is accessed behind a locked gate. Doing so will see your character sledge down a hill and then arrive at this area. With a powerful blizzard obscuring the player's view for large chunks of time, navigating this area is difficult enough, not to mention the pitfalls and narrow pathways that players can fail to see. Moreover, this area will throw tough unicorn-like enemies at players when the blizzard is active. They hit hard and come out of nowhere, meaning players need to act fast to survive. Throw in a boss fight against two large tigers at the end, and Frigid Outskirts is easily one of the cruelest areas in the Soulsborne series. Even more stressfully, there is no bonfire in this area so if you die, you gotta go all the way back to the top. Number 7. Resident Evil Village – House Beneviento Taking place a few years after the events of Resi 7, Village saw the latest Resi protagonist Ethan Winters find himself in an isolated village as he searched for his infant daughter. During the game, players would be taken on a whistle-stop tour of the titular village, visiting the homes of its various leaders as Ethan's search progressed. From a grand gothic castle to a monster-infested fortress, Village stayed true to the series' horror roots. There are plenty of tense moments to break up the action, but perhaps none as stressful or as terrifying as House Beneviento. This section wasted little time in establishing its horrors, however the fun doesn't truly begin until discovering a life-sized mannequin of Ethan's wife Mia in the mansion's basement. 
Players are then flung into a pitch-perfect sequence of suspense as they work to solve a puzzle they're presented with. And then, with tension built to a fever pitch, a grotesque baby arrives, forcing players to hide and run from it as the disfigured fleshy mass pursues them. After escaping this Freudian nightmare, players still need to be faced with a very tense game of hide-and-seek before having to come up against a horde of evil dolls. Number 6. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time – Water Temple The Legend of Zelda series is a cherished part of anyone's childhood who grew up playing these games. They transported players into a magical world brimming with exciting adventure. It's easy to see why many of these titles get the acclaim they do. However, not every part of this legendary series brings back fond memories. All it takes is just a mere mention of the notorious Water Temple of Ocarina of Time, and look, you'll just, you'll know who's played it, cause it'll just it'll come down on their face. Just the frustration, just the sheer raw pain. An almost incomprehensible maze of watery pathways, the goal of this area was to find a number of keys hidden throughout the dungeon to progress to the final boss. This was accomplished by using a series of switches to raise and lower the water level to make parts of the area accessible. Thanks to a combination of fiddly controls, an uncooperative camera, and unintuitive level design, players entering this area for the first time would soon be hitting their heads against the wall as they aimlessly ran around trying to figure out where they were supposed to go. To this day, the level's soundtrack alone is enough to cause some amount of post-traumatic stress. Number 5. Visage – Lucy's Chapter From its macabre opening cutscene, supernatural horror game Visage is not afraid to let players know they're in for a rough time. As players explore the maze-like hallways of the seemingly empty house, spontaneous paranormal occurrences which drain the protagonist's sanity will ensure players stay on constant edge throughout their time here. However, it's the main playable chapters where players will be under the most stress, none of which are as stomach-clenching as Lucy's chapter, which can be activated by examining the sinister drawings in the child's bedroom. Not long after starting this chapter and finding their way to the basement, players will pick up a camera and this is where the tension really kicks off. Plunged into almost complete darkness, the camera's flash is the only source of light players will have as they follow a black trail scrawled on the walls. The creepy imagery would be bad enough if there wasn't a disfigured ghost girl hunting you at the same time. And that's just the beginning for this traumatizing level. Later, the camera flash will be the player's only line of defense against an even more insidious presence that appears later. Visage is a stressful experience, and this level explains why pretty perfectly. Number 4. Outer Wilds – Dark Bramble With its vibrant art style, uplifting soundtrack, and collection of imaginative planets brimming with secrets to discover and puzzles to solve, Outer Wilds would seem like the perfect game to relax with on a Sunday afternoon. Then there's Bloody Dark Bramble, which if you know, then you know. Dark Bramble is a foreboding planet located on the edge of the solar system. While explorable at any time, intrepid astronauts aren't required to venture into Dark Bramble's depths until near the very end of the game. When players do take the plunge into this area, however, they'll find themselves in one of the most nerve-wracking video game experiences to date. Entering the foggy depths of this thorny planet instantly switches the jovial tone into something more eerie. With visibility severely inhibited, players must navigate through portals to explore. But players aren't alone here. Giant anglerfish can be seen suspended motionless in the foggy void. Though blind Blind, these razor-toothed nightmares will detect you if they hear you. This means that players will need to use their engines as sparingly as possible to not draw any unwanted attention to themselves. The tension is palpable as players slowly drift past these monsters, hoping they don't use too much throttle or risk seeing what happens when these fish are disturbed. Spoiler alert, it's not great. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid – Fighting Liquid Snake if there's one way to make an already challenging level even more stressful, it's to add in a time limit to the mix. Nowhere is the time limit more stressfully used than in the final boss fight in Metal Gear Solid, in which players go up against Liquid Snake. In true Metal Gear style, this showdown is as over the top as conceivable, with the fight taking place on a giant nuclear mech with an airstrike imminent. To escape from this situation alive, players are tasked with beating Liquid Snake with just their bare fists in only 
only three minutes. However, thanks to Snake's long gloating villainous rant that happens before the fight can begin, players get the pleasure of watching as 30 of those precious seconds tick away. With just 150 seconds to save the day, players will need to act fast to whittle this boss's health down enough so they can be knocked over the edge with a satisfying finishing blow. Get too overzealous in your fight against the clock though and players can find themselves easily overwhelmed by the punishing attacks from Liquid Snake. Number 2. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy – Stormy Ascent If you owned a PlayStation in 1996, then it's possible that you remember jumping and spinning your way through the colourful and challenging levels of Crash Bandicoot as everyone's favourite polygonal marsupial. What you will not remember from those precious memories though is a level called Stormy Ascent. That's because it was cut from the game as it was deemed too difficult. Unluckily for us, this notorious level was added as an optional stage in all its punishing glory glory in the Insane Trilogy, and it's just as frustratingly difficult as players would expect. Essentially a much tougher version of the already challenging Slippery Climb, this bonus level sees players pushing their platforming skills to their limits as they make their way up the walls of Cortex's castle. Pinpoint precision and timing is paramount in navigating this 5 minute long run of rotating and disappearing platforms, bottomless pits, birds you'll need to bounce across, and collapsing stairs. And then the strategically placed enemies position throughout the level to ensure making progress is as tricky as possible. And with no checkpoints and one hit deaths, this particular level should probably come with a warning label. That's not even mentioning attempting the time trials. Number 1. Mass Effect 2 – The Suicide Mission with all the flirting that goes on on board the Normandy in Mass Effect 2, it can be easy to forget that Shepard and their crew are on a high stakes mission to stop humanity from being harvested by an alien race known as the Collectors. Throughout this acclaimed RPG, players will work to rebuild their crew, earn their loyalty, and enhance their ships so they'll be prepared for their final battle against this new threat. And thanks to the superb writing that fully fleshes out every single character and each of your relationships, you'll probably feel pretty close to all of your squad mates, in a flirty and non-flirty way, depending on the character. When the time comes to undertake the final mission in which everything is riding on the line, each decision the players have made will make the deciding factors in whether your favourite Normandy crews will make it to the end. Dubbed the suicide mission, this entire mission is a nail-biting sequence of action and suspense as players watch as events unfold, making life or death choices along the way. At this point, all players can do is pray they've done enough for their squad, and hopefully not be scarred with the image of them being carried off by deadly space bees. That's the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other video game levels that are extraordinarily stressful. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you do stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.